Hey guys, what is it like to live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? And today we're gonna go and we're actually gonna drive, do a little driving tour of what it's like to live in the northern suburbs of, uh, of Pittsburgh. So we're gonna do really, really popular areas. I'm gonna go through a few neighborhoods just so you can give it kind of a general feel. I'm driving right now, so that's why I'm not really looking at the camera too much. Get a general feel of what it's like, what the neighborhoods look like on the northern side of, of Pittsburgh. I'm in my, my Ram right now. I'm so excited. My boys are back from Easter, so I get to drive my Ram, my Dodge Ram around. Uh, so I love this truck, so I'm a little excited for that. And uh, I wanna really show you just kind of a taste of what the roads are like, what the neighborhoods are like. So we're gonna hit, hit just a few of the neighborhoods. It's not gonna be a totally long, long video, um, but I wanna hit the main road like McKnight Road, uh, Perry Highway, which goes from uh, downtown pretty much. If you jump on 279 from downtown and go north, you can hit uh, 279 and hit Perry Highway, get off at McKnight Road and take that all the way up uh, turn uh, McKnight Road turns into Perry Highway, which in turns uh, goes all the way up into Cranberry Township, up into Butler, and you can take 19 literally all the way up to where I grew up in Greenville, Pennsylvania. So we're gonna do as I'll, I'll flip the camera around so you guys can see some of the some of the neighborhoods and uh, just what the basically what the traffic looks like. It's Saturday before Easter, uh, 2024 right now. I'm sitting at a, at a traffic light outside of one of my favorite places in Western Pennsylvania, uh, Sheets. If you don't know what a Sheets is, if you're coming to Pennsylvania, you'll find out what a Sheets is. I love Sheets. They have uh, all kinds of different, they almost backed up into each other, all kinds of different, um, like if you need a snack or if you're in a hurry, you need a, a quick dinner or lunch or something, go in the sheets. It's a gas station. If you don't know what it is, it's a gas station and they have all kinds of good little treats and yummy sandwiches and whatnot. All right. So I'm going to flip the camera around and let's get to it right now. All right, guys. So there is sheets. It's the big red gas station that you're going to see. And they're everywhere in Pennsylvania. They originated in Altoona, Pennsylvania, which, um, in the center of the state so i'm going to pop you up right here and this we're doing uh 70 or i'm sorry we're doing 19 south uh so this is perry highway which is 19 i'm going to head south for a little bit i'm going to come up mcknight road all right so we're getting from mccandless township which is where uh, my neighborhood is in mccandless and we are going to head south towards westview and I'm gonna jump on Babcock Boulevard. So right now you can see, this is a Saturday. There's a little bit of traffic coming north uh, from it. So it's two lanes each way. Uh, there's neighborhoods flanking each side of the road here. So you'll take one road back and there'll be some neighborhoods back in here and there and everywhere. Uh, it's pretty well populated in this area um, that you're gonna see. When I jump on McKnight Road, you're gonna see a ton of different places so there's a uh, beer distributors there's pizza like if you got um the pizza shop here on the left uh adrian's pizza and the boxing gym right there are really really popular uh if you want a nice nice pizza has a little bit of grease to it and whatnot adrian's is good you got your uh baked true north you got bakery here on the right and then this is the shopping center pines plaza on the left it has one of the best places one of the best diners you're ever going to uh, eat at which is kelly's diner it's been featured on uh on like the food channel or travel channel and stuff like that they've done some things there so you got bowling center you got shop and save uh, market food market uh and whatnot there you got you know you got a memory on uh, memory live you got uh, like an older folks type home the heck they call it blanking on it uh, skilled nursing rehabilitation center there all right so this right here when you get down to Perry highway south and you head towards westview this is an extremely frustrating and um <laughs> frustrating and busy intersection so you got sewickley oakmont road which is coming the traffic from the right all right, and that goes over towards 79. It goes over towards like Sam's Club. There's a giant eagle over there. There's a Home Depot. So it's really popular for people headed that way and you can get to Franklin Park, which is pretty popular over that way. Now, if you keep heading south straight, it's keep going straight south on 70, on 19 right now, you're gonna end up on Westview. Westview has, it's very densely populated. It's part of the North Hills. And then uh, we're gonna make a left. So, 
we're gonna go towards Babcock and towards McWright, uh, McKnight Road, making our left. And then you're gonna see there's gonna be a bunch of little, there's like a, a little, uh, little shop here and there, different places. There's a few pizza places and a few restaurants. So I'm gonna shut this off because I get real frustrated at this intersection. It takes forever sometimes. Oh, look at this, we're gonna catch the lights. This is amazing. Sometimes I literally sit here for three lights uh, trying to make a left. Um, so yeah, it's real, real popular right here. You're gonna see these are the type of houses that you're gonna see a lot of when you get in the North Hills. All right, so it's a very, very hilly area. It's not real flat at all until you start getting up into maybe uh, way up into like Cranberry and north of, north of Cranberry. Then you'll start seeing a lot more flat area, a lot of farmland up there. But And then people are buying up these farmlands. A really popular bar right here on the right, Knuckleheads. Never been in there. Not much of a bar guy myself, honestly. Um, but yeah, if you get up into Cranberry, you're gonna see a lot of farmland and stuff that a lot of a lot of developers are buying. Uh, okay, uh, so all the farmland is disappearing. So right here, you got your your greenhouse, your little nursery on the right. You got your Flynn's Auto back there for your tires, which I recommend going to Flynn's back there. Um, you got some, you know, it used to be it used to be like a CrossFit gym right here on the right. Some places have moved out. Uh, there's Japanese uh, Thai places, Thai restaurants, all kinds of little stuff like that. Um, so this is, we're, we're on Babcock Boulevard right now. So this is pretty popular if you're gonna run uh, south going towards Pittsburgh or coming back from downtown. If you don't wanna take McKnight, sometimes I jump on Babcock. It's only one lane each way, but um, less lights. There's only like a couple, there's like three or four lights that you have to do, have to take from, uh, uh, from McKnight Road where, it, where you jump on Babcock up to here. So this can be a little quicker even though it's a two lane. You got a cool little diner right there that just stopped, that just uh, just opened up like maybe a year ago. You got some tattoo shops. You got a nice, this restaurant down here, the Dive Bar and Grill, I think they have one on the south side as well. Uh, it's the same one, but it's Dive Bar and Grill. It seems to be extremely popular. Seeb's Pub on the left. Uh, that's been there a while, it's like an Irish bar. Uh, but that restaurant back there, the dive bar, man, they've had, I've lived here six years coming up this summer. So five and a half years right now. And there's been like three different restaurants in that place. So I'm hoping the dive bar and grill, I hope that stays there for a while and it's successful because it's a nice place. Um, the building, the parking, it's, you know, it's a popular area. I'm surprised that restaurants haven't lasted there. So yeah, let's take a break right here. This is Babcock Boulevard, this is what you're gonna see. There's gonna be another Sheets down here and a Sunoco. And then I'll start it up again when we hit on McKnight. All right, we are still on Babcock, headed south. Uh, so if I go straight, I end up down in like Millville or whatnot. We're gonna take, we're gonna jump on McKnight Road and we're gonna go north here. Uh, so you guys can get a feel of what it's like. So right now we're in the North Hills School District when we're south, uh, south on uh, McKnight here. But we're gonna head up McKnight, and you're gonna see, this is all the shops. We got uh, Ross, Town, uh, Ross Park Mall up here, which you're not, I might take a, I guess, a turn up there as well. Um, but, okay, so now we are getting on McKnight Road, and it's gonna have every store, every restaurant you can think of, uh, when you're talking about like a chain or a franchise type place or whatnot, you got your Pet Boys, your Advanced Auto Parts, Red Lobster up here on the right, and then right across the street from Advanced and, uh, and Pet Boys, you have AutoZone, and you have, you know, your Chick-fil-A's, McDonald's's, and all these different Chinese restaurants and Japanese restaurants, and, and all kinds of stuff coming up. Um, gas stations, there's Get-Go's here, there's a BP on the left. Stokes Grill, you know, uh, campesinos, uh, Mexican restaurant, you, you got everything that you can think of. So this is a Saturday, I'm gonna raise it up a little bit here. This is a Saturday on McKnight Road. It's six o'clock right now. So you got like Harbor Freight, you know, and then you got Home Depot and stuff up here. You got Arby's, Applebee's. So it's not crazy busy, but you know, this is the Saturday before Easter, so people might be coming out a little bit just to do a little bit of shopping. If you got some little ones you're, you're shopping for, uh, you got your Coles and whatnot over on the left. Uh, Taco Hell, I mean Taco Bell, Target, uh, all that jazz right there. Taquiera, that's supposed to be pretty good if I'm saying that right. 
a little Mexican restaurant right there on the right. Um, so this is all a lot of businesses along McKnight and then there'll be a couple neighborhoods uh, behind these businesses that will that I'll venture up into but it'll probably be more towards uh, the North Allegheny School District side that we'll take a take a look at Chipotle, McDonald's, the Iwa, Japanese ramen bar, stuff like that. All no carpet. There you go. So it's, I mean, McKnight Seabird. So you have your uh, your wing place, Sword Clips, uh, Wingstop, you know, Panera. Uh, What's it called? Starbucks. Of course, there's like four Starbucks within a two mile or a mile a mile drive. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, what's going on there with those? Uh, Romana Law Group. Woo! There you go. Right, so you got car washes you have some new townhomes popping up here on the left that they just put in like now i think they're just starting to rent them actually ross park mall is up here on the right uh, you can't see it it's way up top here so it's just another big mall i mean it's got every everything you would think of in a mall uh, for your shopping actually dick sporting goods is opening up a huge place there they're moving from where they are currently in mccainless at mccainless township uh, at McKenna Square or whatever it's called uh, crossing I'm sorry McKenna's crossing and they're coming down here to the mall so but it's gonna be some huge two-story deal go ahead man you got your turn signal I'll let you go um, so you got Ross Park Mall another entrance there's like three or four entrances to the Ross Park Mall this person was all the way in the left and now they want to go all the way to the right so what you doing buddy anywho uh, jewelry place Denny's Julian Fabrics you know everything chili is burnt down like a year ago and looks like i hope they're just about ready to open it back up because my daughter loves chilies that's what she always wants we got chilies right there it did catch fire about a year ago uh ross park mall that's our last entrance chick-fil-a over here on the left wow this person can't make up their mind where they're going Kebab King? Kebab King. I misspelled that or misread that one. I don't know if you know about, okay, so in Western PA, there's Giant Eagle is enormous for our, our grocery store. So if you're from a different state uh, or a different area, you might not know too much about Giant Eagle. Giant Eagle is like our main, um, our main grocery store. So they also have, you know, like Sam's Club has their own gas stations or whatever. Giant Eagle has their own gas station as well. So I'll go right here. They're pretty big, they're nice, they're new. And they serve, same thing as like sheets, like they serve food and they do that kind of stuff too. And they give you discounts on your gas, which is nice. Um, the more you shop in the grocery store, they give you, you know, like rewards or whatever towards your gas. Um, so you can see, another, I mean, there's little malls, there's little strip malls everywhere around here. I am going to go this way, McIntyre Square up there. It's got all kinds of stuff. Uh, Permani Brothers, woo, I forgot they came in right there. So you got Permani Brothers right there, and across the road you got uh, the block, the Northway, or the block at Northway or whatever. And they got like a Dave and Buster's and stuff. Uh, container store, Nordstrom Rack. They got uh, some Marshalls or something like that up there as well for shopping. So it was all these little pocket areas. Um, so you got Dunham's, another Giant Eagle. Crunch Fitness is very, very popular here right now. All right, so I'm gonna merge, gonna merge, gonna merge, lady. Let's go. Go ahead, go ahead, crazy. All right, so we're gonna go back here and I'm gonna show you one of the neighborhoods. It's, um, now this is North Allegheny School District. So we're gonna be up behind McIntyre Square. Right across the street, they have Vincentian Academy. Um, so it's like a high school, it's a private, like Catholic, I think it's Catholic, Catholic school. Um, they have some sports uh, fields down below, like a lot of softball fields, t-ball, uh, baseball, stuff like that. They have the fields down there. So as soon as this light turns, there we go. And, and it's a, a gloomy day here in Pittsburgh. The sun was out, I promise you, the sun was out about 20 minutes before before I jumped in the truck to go do this. Um, 
um, <laughs> it was raining pretty much all day today, like from probably about noon. It started raining, it rained for about five hours straight, and then the sun came out for about an hour, and now it is nice and gloomy. You can see the road still wet at the moment. Sorry about that with the camera. So I'm gonna make a right. Uh, so these these are kind of typical older neighborhoods that you'll see around the Pittsburgh area. And this is actually one, not old, old, but these homes were probably built in the 70s, maybe 60s and 70s. There's gonna be some 50s. Like you'll see some little old brand, uh, brick ranches and stuff like that that were built in the 50s. But this neighborhood, I believe, is mostly the 70s and, and, and whatnot. Nice, a lot of split entries in this area, in this, in this neighborhood, split entries. Um, uh, some little bit of colonials here and there, some ranches. You know like maybe a craftsman here and there but split entry and ranches are very common here in the north hills it seems like for these areas there are as you get closer to downtown then you'll see um you'll start to see like the bigger colonials and the old old ones that are built in the early 1900s there's a lot of like row houses like if you go down into uh, the mexican war streets gorgeous down there i will do a driving tour when i have some more time uh, to go down there and then it's just a really cool area uh, very walkable like up here what i what i have noticed in the north hills area once you start getting away from downtown and more into the suburbs like north allegheny school district and whatnot there's not that like walkable downtown area you know what i mean like like where it has some sidewalks and there's a bunch of shops and it's considered like the downtown area of, you know, of McCainless or, or Wexford or something like that. Everything is pretty much like you have to drive, you can walk the neighborhoods, but you can't really walk around to go to the stores and stuff without obviously going to like one of the malls or something like that. And then you're walking around, but most of these neighborhoods are going to be like this. And you know, they're not gonna have a central downtown area that has little coffee shops and stuff like that. They're all at these little, these malls or whatever, uh, like strip malls and whatnot. So you can see a lot of the colonial brick on this road right here. And man, it's starting to get dark early because of, the, because of the clouds, which stinks. So I'm gonna hurry up. So this gives you a feel of what a lot of the neighborhoods look like around the North Hills, McCandless, um, Wexford type area these are the older neighborhoods so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna jump to one of the newer ones so you guys can see if there are as you get further and further away from downtown and travel north towards towards Warrendale towards up towards Wexford you're gonna see a lot more newer neighborhoods um, now what what uh, this area in particular has going for it is there's a really really good um, really, really good hospital up here, Passivant, uh, UPMC Passivant. And there's a college, there's you know, right across the street. Um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the college. I'll get that college where I keep blanking on the name of the college. Uh, but it's it's not huge, it's a, it's a smaller one, but I believe it's really good for like medical, um, uh, you know, medical uh, majors and whatnot. So yeah, a lot of churches, you know, people are outside doing their thing. You got Easter tomorrow. So I'm gonna make a, maybe I should make a right here. And then we'll get up to those neighborhoods. All right, so I got off of McKnight again. I'm not far from Vincentian, but we're gonna head up past uh, UPMC um, Hospital. So you can see the hospital that I'm talking about, UPMC, UPMC Passive Inn. It's extremely popular, one of the best uh, hospitals in the area. UPMC is a fantastic uh, system. And then we're also gonna go past one of the really popular restaurants here in the Pittsburgh area that I think is a really nice odd house right here, just kind of in the middle of all these like businesses and stuff. Um, it's the North Park Lounge. So that's coming up here on the left. Uh, it's a great place to get some like, you know, American food your steaks, your burgers, stuff like that, some fries. You got North Park Lounge right here. And then we are gonna be behind McCandless uh, Crossing, which has a lot a lot of, of restaurants. Uh, it did have the Dicks, it has the movie theater. And then there's gonna be some apartments that right here, the club at North Hills, apartment homes, stuff like that. And then here is 
the college I was referring to that I'm still blanking on the name for this dang college. So we're gonna see, oh, it's La Roche. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so there's La Roche College right here. Very small college, really well known around the area though. It's It's got some really good majors in, in it, involved and get a good, uh, yeah, you can get a good, uh, I'm blanking on things. I apologize right now. I'm trying to drive and do it at the same time. So, anywho. Crossing, Trader Joe's, the Home Goods Store, stuff like that on our left. There's actually a gun uh, shop right there too. You can go and shoot. And then you can see we're rolling up. There's a hospital in the background right there. Right next to, uh, right across the street from, from La, Roche, La Roche Hospital. So you got UPMC Pass event. And then we're actually running parallel to McKnight Road. But I wanted to show you this, um, the hospital right here. And then we'll end up back, we're gonna go through North Park and I'll show you some, some homes on the way over there. I love North Park. I, I mentioned North Park and probably almost, I'd say 70% of my videos I talk about North Park. I just love it. It's a great place uh, to go, you know, spend about an hour, hour and a half walking around the lake. Uh, take your, you know, take your kayak fishing, take your canoe, uh, your little paddle board or whatever, you can go down there and enjoy the day take the kids down you can fish from the shore if you want rather than using your boat so we're gonna make a left here off of this is actually Babcock on Coomer Road head towards North Park and North Park has another nice um, very large fishing or I'm not sorry fishing uh, pool so there's some really nice nice areas over here some nice homes large homes or whatever they're they're built in probably the 80s and 90s some maybe in the, in the early 2000s as we approach North Park. And then, so we'll, we'll drive, uh, I have North Park in other videos and, and whatnot, so I'll, I'm not gonna keep taking you through North Park, but we'll jump back on onto uh, 19, which is gonna be north of where McKnight Road actually ends up meeting 19. And then there's a bunch of businesses and stuff like that again. So we're gonna roll down here. The uh, and there's a police academy training center up here on the right. Can't really see. I might be able to see the roof up there a little bit. This is a nice, uh, nice neighborhood off to our right. So I'm gonna pull in there real quick. I have done a short on this uh, on this one before. It's called the Manor. So these homes were built early 2000s. This was established in 2005. 2005, and it's fairly private. I think there's only like 18 maybe, 18 or 20 homes up in here. I forget what the count was, but it's nice. These homes, you know, they're very large footprints, but they're they're on small, small lots, maybe up to a half acre, I'm assuming is what it looks like. So you do have these pockets of neighborhoods that are, you know, have really, um, really more expensive homes. These homes go anywhere from like 600,000 up to, you know, eight, 900,000 dollars. They might be touching a million now with the way the market's been. You, you might be able to get uh, a million, a million two, a million three for these homes up in here. Um, they're nice. I'm not sure who the builder was for this neighborhood. Uh, so ooh, somebody has a nice Ferrari in their garage. Um, so yeah, there's, there's these pockets you know, in behind some of the older neighborhoods that, you know, they finally, the landowners finally decided, all right, let's make some money or, or whatnot. We, we don't want to deal with our land anymore. So they sell it to these developers. Developers come in and this is what they put up, you know, some really nice homes. There's like a cul-de-sac back there. So it's not a very big neighborhood. Um, one of the neighborhoods I just looked at with a client today, who's out, out of town from uh, Virginia, we were looking at some ones. Uh, they have a neighborhood called the Bliss, and there's only going to be 10, 
10 uh, homes in that in that neighborhood and that's all they're putting in and that's that builder is uh, Benjamin Marcus is going to be exclusive to that little neighborhood and those lots are going to be you know from 0.6 uh, acres and the largest one has five acres on it but it's kind of set back in and down in a gully or whatever but you have five acres a lot of privacy so now we're basically in North Park so I'm gonna go <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna go right across uh, North Park here is gonna be on our left the lake oh shoot I got backwards sorry excuse me North Park is straight ahead and to our right um, so you got cadence back there on the left a big building <clears throat> excuse me uh, cadence clubhouse it's that bike run pro bike and run shop you know what I mean so they have you can rent you can purchase they have uh, the cadence um, clubhouse and there's really nice if you want to stop in they have a bar and everything like that so you can go in there you can buy all your bike stuff your bike gear things of that nature and then off to the right <clears throat> you just go back there the lakes over there it's a uh, pretty large lake for around here like I said you can do all your fishing your kayaking stuff like that there's always deer around this area so you got to be careful when you're driving through <clears throat> a bunch of turkey I see up over <laughs> I love turkey man they're everywhere there's there's a bunch of turkey there's a flock of them over near that building in the yard one's got his his feathers all strutting his stuff for his ladies so as we drive up this road this this is North Park and then there's gonna be an 18 hole golf course <clears throat> North Park golf course up here on the right about a half a mile it's not bad it's, it's actually they keep it pretty good shape it gets fairly busy but you can walk on like in the summers during the week if you go as a single or a double or maybe you have a foursome you, it doesn't take extremely long you can go and it might take an hour to get on or you might walk right on the course so <clears throat> i have uh i lived in los angeles for a while and i worked at rancho park golf course and man the the weights there as a single sometimes you just, people used to wait like a four four hour wait just to get on so here's the golf course on the right <clears throat> they do a nice job with it. It's been here quite a while Probably built in the 50s or something like that, you know, it's a decent clubhouse people there are really nice good good people good staff I golf there maybe a, I don't know a handful of times in the, in the summer My sons have picked up golfing. So when they're home from college, they go there they go with their buddies <clears throat> They got horse show ring on the left so you can go and ride your horses. There are some trails around the course, around the park that you can ride horses and whatnot. <clears throat> Man, my throat is dry. Sorry, guys. I, I enjoy North Park. Like I, you can ride your bike all over this place. If you bring up like your mountain bike, you can hit some of the trails. If you don't want to just hike, if you want to ride your mountain bike. There's trails all over in these woods. It's still part of the golf course here on the right. So it's, it's nice, 18 hole course. It's not very expensive. Um, I think it was in the 20s for an 18 hole to walk it. I usually walk, I hate riding golf, court, golf carts. <clears throat> and then down on the left, you're gonna have some, some older homes and some newer homes mixed in together that people bought land and, and built their own some geese up there on the course <coughs> dang it sorry guys so you can see uh you know some smaller homes some bigger homes and then you're going to get up on some bigger homes here as we get past the course and we're going to make a left and you're going to see like more of the neighborhoods i guess and it's going to be one of the larger home neighborhoods You got little facilities, you know, little uh, places where you can rent and, uh, you know, reserve for picnics or, <clears throat> or maybe reserve for a, a graduation party at the end of the year or whatever. You can reserve some of these pavilions. Oh, it's starting to rain. Super. So we're still on part of the North Park and now we're going to head out of the park and you're going to start seeing some more homes. And these are newer-ish homes for the area. Nothing new, new, but they were probably built in the 90s. 
with some cool ones and you know some brick and some just different styles there's some colonials with siding there's <laughs> there's split levels there's farmhouse looking ones there's just all kinds of different mixtures of homes in these neighborhoods it's kind of cool they're not all cookie cutter whereas when you get into these new developments developments and these plans with these brand new new construction homes which are beautiful by the way but you start seeing okay this is definitely you know uh one builder built all these homes or you know there might be a mixture of maybe two builders built all these homes this house right here is for sale on the left by coldwell banker really nice home uh brick home then there's going to be you know but you're when those when you get in those plans you know they're they're good they're brand new homes really good quality but you know a lot of the homes look similar and they kind of cram them in whereas i would love for me if i had you know if i could i would do something like that like i'd buy you know five acres and build an absolutely gorgeous house on a private lot right there and then your neighbor is not within stones throwing distance you know another nice beautiful car, uh, colonial type type house right there so you got totally different and right across the street back there you had a, a little ranch that was built in the 50s so that's that's the beauty of living up in these areas and not being in a plan but if you like the plan cool good on you if you don't like plans there's plenty of places that you can move to in this area and we're all within you know 30 45 minutes of downtown Pittsburgh and coming from the north I want to make this clear coming from the north to go to downtown is the fastest if you live on the east side of downtown <clears throat> and you're trying to get to work in the morning you're gonna get stuck in a squirrel hill tunnel if you're coming from the west like the parkway west you're gonna get stuck in uh, on the parkway west big time there's always something going on in parkway west like always uh, it seems like every morning you got Wexford Elementary right here um, you know you're, you're gonna get caught in these tunnels because everything bottlenecks so you got tunnels oh man so this isn't gonna work okay so it's pouring down rain can't see out the front of the truck uh, as I'm filming because the windshield wipers so you get to it gives you kind of a an idea of what the neighborhoods here in the North Allegheny School District and North Hills School District are, are like uh, somewhat uh, there's some really new there's some new plans coming in from Benjamin Marcus infinity custom homes Eddie they're all all those three are, are building DR Horton's gonna be building here uh, I can't remember, I don't think DRB is, but DR Horton is gonna be building here. Um, so there's tons of things, tons of opportunities in this area, great school districts. So we'll be moving on towards uh, Cranberry and we'll head north and then we'll turn around, we'll, we'll hit the south side of Pittsburgh, we'll hit the south, um, uh, south Park area, we'll hit, you know, stuff like that. We'll hit the west over by the airport and Moon Township and then we'll head east in Westmoreland County and do all kinds of different ones. So leave a comment if you like these videos, let me know and down below if, if you wanna see more of these or certain areas you wanna see. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're moving towards the area, you want some information on the area, you need a, need a real estate agent, hit me up with EXP Realty, Shane Woodworth, uh, part of the Mad Homes, Matt and Matt Durbin team and DJ Fairley, excellent, excellent people to work with. We have all sorts of um, resources for you guys. Uh, so. Hit us up. Let's have a conversation. Until next time, guys, keep it real estate. Thanks for watching.